uh, Brother Grant Ducanary, he uh, has had a lot of uh, facial hair. That was always his thing. Yep. That salt and pepper. It was that's right. Found everywhere in time. <laughs> Amen. Brother Grant was a, uh, I guess not necessarily a loner. Well, somewhat. He came to Starkville, and uh, Mother Nelson can, can probably tell you more about Brother Grant. And a lot of that I learned about Grant, I learned through his family, uh, Mother Nelson and her siblings. And uh, Brother Grant came here from the Delta. He had one sister yet living down in the Delta in Clarksville. Uh, Deacon Elliot, I think, has taken him down there a couple of times to see her. She has been ill for a very long time, and I think the last time he, he was here indicated that she had been ailing. And uh, so not a really big family, but he came here from the Delta, and uh, Deacon uh, uh, Neil, Deacon, uh, Ellie, Deacon Isaac would often say that he just, uh, we don't know where he came here from, <laughs> but he just came here from the desert. And, you know, uh, in the olden days, people had more hospitality about Yes, them. That's, that's right. But I think it's coming back because young people, sometimes you, if you invite them to your house, they show up with somebody and you don't know where they came from. All right, all right. Who is this? Who boy? Whose child are you? Uh, and... There's nothing wrong with it. It's good to have hospitality, but it's important to know who you're riding with. That's right. Who's at that age. Uh, who's at your table. It's important for us to know that. Isn't that right? Amen. It's important for you to know who your children's friends are. That's right. And if you do that, you can avoid a lot of trouble. That's right. But my point was is that uh, the Isaac family's patriarch, Mother Nelson's daddy, said to you all, take care of Grant. You know, when I leave here, before that was part of his orders before he died. I don't know how I remember all that, Mother Nelson, but he said to take care of him. Yes. And I don't know, perhaps her dad saw something in Grant, but Brother Grant was a very special person. Man. And I'm not here today to eulogize him, but I want to say something about him because he was a very unique person. He was always the same. If he loved you, he loved you. Yeah, it right. was genuine. He always seemed like after you preached or you ministered, or he could just see you and tears would come yeah. in his eyes. That's right. Because his love was so genuine. Y'all talk to him. Yeah. Uh, he's the kind of person that if he liked you, he'd run his hand in his pocket, get some right. from the heart. Sure no. Amen. Now, you know, you. That's right. Amen. I, I had some older folks who, when I was younger, they'd give you peppermint candy and you didn't eat it. All right. Uh, but you felt safe with Brother Grant. The, yeah. the rappers would always be, you know, you could obviously tell the rappers had not been washed. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but he was a unique <sighs> person. Yes person full of love yeah. and uh, I thought about him and I meditated on him and it, it did not you know how some people when they die you mourn and you feel sad Lord but I did not worry about Brother Grant right. he had an innocent quality about him yes. and even when other folk are full of mess All he right. was the kind of person you can see that wasn't quite the way he felt Right. Even though he could not express it, I don't know if he ever went to school or not. But Brother Grant let you know that he loved you yeah. in ways that other people. And, and not long ago, we were having a fish fry in the front yard. And Brother Grant had told Deacon Elliot, I want to go by and see uh, the Mostellas. He wanted to come by and see us. And he came by to see us, sat out, at, out there in the tent. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you could see uh, by... His, his longing to see us, that perhaps his time was not long in this life. And that's probably been a month, yeah. maybe just a little bit more than a month ago. Uh, not as, you know, and so all of us are headed that way yeah. as we live. Amen. We're getting closer to that way. And we have to get ourselves ready yes, amen. to meet God. That's right. But when we leave here, <clears throat> when we leave here, all of us the question is, will you be remembered? Yeah, all of us going to be remembered. First, one thing or another. Something they're going to remember us for. Some stuff 
you want to remember you for other stuff, you don't want to be remembered for. Everybody is remembered in some way. Isn't that right? Yes. Man, you must have had about a hundred kids. Oh, <laughs> all right. And they were scattered all over. You know how folks talk? Yep. That's right. <laughs> Y'all ain't heard them? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, will you be remembered? Most importantly, what will you be remembered for? <clears throat> I remember, and, and one of the most pleasant things, some